Kilauea Volcano, September 10th, 2023. It's a calm and beautiful early morning sunrise at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Under the gaze of Mauna Loa, the world's largest mountain from base to summit. The whole park is still asleep, but for Pele, goddess of fire, today her slumber ends. snacks at the trailhead in the car and we felt a couple earthquakes and now as we're walking out here to the rim there's been a huge explosion from the Halemalemalu crater at Kilauea and a ton of fog and gas has just been released. For the 61st time since 1823, Pele has awakened in a fiery mood at Hale Ma'u Ma'u. Known for her passion, jealousy, and power, the goddess of volcanoes is one of the most famous and feared deities of ancient Polynesian mythology. To witness her destructive power up close and personal is a sight to behold, and a warning to mankind. Pele will not tolerate our abuse of the planet. She will not stand idly by while humans threaten to destroy Mother Nature. She will fight back. Join us as we discover ancient Hawaiian history and mythology on part two of the fascinating and ever-changing island of Hawaii. The Big Island famous for its black sand beaches, misty rainforests, and fiery volcanoes, as well as its ancient culture. Here at Honaunau Bay, on the western coast of the island near Kona, archeologists have uncovered the remains of an ancient Hawaiian civilization and statues of their gods. There are many deities in the Polynesian traditions, but the four elder gods of Hawaiian legend are Kane, God of Light, Chief, and the Creator. Ku, God of War, Canoes, and Fishing. Kanaloa, God of the Ocean, Wind, and the Dead. And Lono, God of Agriculture, Fertility, and Rain. Tiki statues immortalize these gods in wood or stone, symbolizing their relationship with man. These tikis line the grounds of Pu Honau O Honaunau, a place of refuge for those who had broken the sacred laws or kapu. Once the offender reached this beach, Lono would protect them from persecution within the Great Wall. After being blessed by a local priest, the offender would be absolved and free to leave unharmed. Powerful chieftains settled in the grounds outside the Great Wall, erecting heiau, or temples, to worship the gods. Konane was a popular table game for competitive chiefs to challenge their opponents off the battlefield. But the battlefield was never far away, and perpetual war was a theme of ancient Hawaii, though Pu Honau remained a sanctuary, and native Hawaiians can still seek refuge here to this day. As the traditional customs of ancient Hawaii declined in the late 1700s, a new superpower rose in the sleepy fishing village of Kona, 
one who would bring the end of conflict and unite the islands, King Kamehameha I. Kamehameha the Great lived here at Kamakahonu during his reign, after he unified the Hawaiian Islands under his rule in 1795. Kona became the first royal capital of the Kingdom of Hawaii, and Kamehameha would father a dynasty here, birthing a lineage of four successors under his name. Though the Kamakahonu from Kamehameha's rule was lost to time, these replicas were accurately reconstructed in the 1970s. King Kamehameha died at Kamakahonu in 1819, and the throne passed to his eldest son, Kamehameha II, who moved the capital to Lahaina on Maui and banned the ancient Hawaiian religion. He then only ruled for five years before succumbing to measles during a voyage to Great Britain. Kamehameha's youngest son took the throne as Kamehameha III and again moved the capital to Honolulu on Oahu. With the arrival of Westerners in the early 1800s, a new estate was needed to entertain royal guests in Kona. Hulehei Palace was built by island governor John Adams Kuakini, who ran affairs in Kona when the king was away. The palace was fashioned in a more European-style design and became extremely popular as a summer home for the royals throughout the 1800s. It was during this period that more and more people from around the world came to Hawaii, hearing tales from Captain Cook and other adventurers. Hundreds of Christian churches were erected almost overnight throughout Hawaii, starting with the first Christian church, Mokuai Kaua, in Kona. Mokuai Kaua was founded by American Protestant missionaries in 1820 with the express purpose of converting the locals to Christianity during the reign of Kamehameha II. The church was successful and continues to host services to this day. It's the first morning in the Hawaii volcanoes. We're hiking down the trails here to the jungle. And it is misting. This is cool. Moss covered rocks everywhere. Super narrow trail. We are approaching the caldera. The bottom of the trail. And it is pretty cool. We are down at the edge of the Kilauea caldera trail we did not hike last year when we were here. This is super cool because you're right at the edge of the 2018 lava flow, or lava lake rather. And it is windy and a little misty. We're headed down the Kilauea Iki Trail to the Kilauea Iki Dry Lava Lake. Kilauea Iki Trail to the left. Kilauea Iki, or Little Kilauea, a pit crater located right next door to the famous Hale Ma'u Ma'u crater, home of Pele, the volcano goddess. Kilauea Iki is a dry lava lake bed, having last erupted in 1959. The shape of the caldera walls was formed by that 1959 eruption, but also by the largest earthquake in Hawaii recorded history. In 1868, a massive 7.9 earthquake rocked the Big Island, causing huge landslides and the partial collapse of the Kilauea caldera. Lava fountains over 300 feet high burst through the soft basalt layer at Kilauea Iki and filled the lake bed with lava hundreds of feet deep. Evidence of these eruptions can still be seen in the massive rocks scattered around Kilauea Iki. Though even in this barren wasteland, life has found a way to survive. We have reached Kilauea Iki.
<laughs> Getting on the submarine to go to the bottom of the ocean. The Big Island of Hawaii offers an intimate experience with not only the goddess of fire, but also the god of the ocean, Kanaloa. Merely half a mile off the coast of Kona, brave travelers can venture into the underwater world of Kanaloa. No matter what you seek, cheap thrills, unique wildlife, maybe even sunken treasure, Kanaloa promises to welcome you with open arms and guide you through his domain. Now prepare for your journey to the bottom of the sea, descending 100 feet down in the submersible, and ready yourself for the adventure of a lifetime. From fiery gods to ancient kingdoms, we have long had a fascination for the Big Island of Hawaii. The ecosystems here are unique and wondrous, but also fragile. Climate change has increased the intensity of wildfires, hurricanes, and tsunamis throughout all of Hawaii. Only we can protect these islands, so future generations can enjoy the history and culture of Hawaii, just as those who came before us.